and to uh, enhance the reproducibility of, of the uh, fusion reaction. And uh, this time uh, I calculated the field enhancement factor uh, around uh, metal nanoparticles uh, in the electromagnetic field or or instant opt or optical light. Uh, the field enhancement factor uh, is uh, defined as the intensity ratio in between the field uh, around uh, an object uh, 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 based on those uh, under no existence of, of such object or metal nanoparticles. So, so we can know uh, how much energy is enhanced uh, by the existence of uh, metal nanoparticles or such uh, substance. And uh, this is the calculation scheme. Uh, it's a very basic uh, classical electromagnetic theory. And uh, don't worry, I do not use a, a, anything e exotic. This is just a uh, uh, Maxwell's equation. And I, I, I calculated the electromagnetic field uh, for the uh, optical light uh, which are passing through a a uh, metallic nanoparticle. And uh, I get uh, finally this equation uh, for so just calculating the, the field uh, under the existence of a substance and uh, without such uh, object. And then uh, just by simply taking a ratio, we can know uh, how much energy or optical field is enhanced uh, by the existence of the uh, nanoparticle. And uh, the key of this enhancement is the surface plasma again, uh, and, uh, which is uh, the uh, strong uh, correlation in between the incident field and the, the, uh, the metallic uh, free electrons uh, by the oscillatory move movement of the free electrons inside the uh, metallic substance. And uh, this phenomenon is, it is particularly enhanced for uh, nanoscale uh, metallic particles uh, whose dimension is similar to the incident wavelengths. And uh, this is a calculation result and uh, we can see uh, by for variety of uh, metal uh, elements, we can have uh, more than 10 times enhancement of the field. So field means uh, which can be applied for the uh, liquid phase experiment uh, because, because uh, they apply uh, uh, electrochemical method and, and uh, the, the field is enhanced around the metal nanoparticles. And uh, for both of the uh, uh, liquid phase and gas phase experiments, uh, uh, we can expect by, by utilizing metal nanoparticles, uh, we can enhance or, or localize uh, the, the energy of the electromagnetic field uh, around the, the metal. So, so probably, particularly for the uh, condensed, uh, the atoms uh, close to the surface of the of the metal, such as a pop, a platinum, uh, we can see that effect, and probably can harvest the effect to to enhance the uh, CF reaction. And uh, when we see uh, for the conventional metal uh, elements such as a platinum, uh, nickel, titanium. Uh, we also see the, the enhancement effect uh, around uh, 10 times uh, for both of our gas and liquid phase uh, systems. So, so uh, probably unconsciously uh, we, we had or already had this uh, effect in the area experiments. And so probably this effect can be uh, incorporated for uh, the future analysis of CF experiments. And uh, 
So far, I have talked about uh, simple spherical metallic nanoparticles, but uh, let me switch uh, my gear a little bit and, and gonna talk about uh, metal nanoshells. Uh, nanoshells uh, consists of a, a metallic shell uh, with, uh, and a dielectric core, so like core shell type of uh, nano, nanoparticles. And uh, particularly for this uh, system of material, we can have uh, even higher field enhancement effect uh, thanks to the uh, hybridization of the intrinsic uh, spherical uh, plasma mode and the, 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 cavity, ca the cavity mode. And for the uh, like, sorry, uh, like molecular uh, in interaction, we can have a bonded state, state for lower energy and uh, this, this one, uh, can highly uh, interact with the instant uh, electromagnetic <coughs> light. And uh, again, uh, I calibrated the field enhancement factor uh, for such a core shell uh, nanoparticle structure. And uh, this is a <coughs> calibration result, and uh, we see uh, this is an example for uh, nano shells uh, with a uh, silver shell and a uh, silicon dioxide core. And uh, we see uh, about a thousand times uh, field enhancement factor, which is uh, uh, namely the energy enhancement effect. So, so the applied, for example, or electromagnetic field in the liquid phase electrochemical experiment, uh, as well as uh, like like laser fusion type gas gas phase experiment, uh, we see such uh, we can have by utilizing uh, metallic core shell structure, uh, we can have such uh, energy enhancement effect. So so maybe uh, effective for uh, the higher reproducibility of the uh, fusion experiment or, or higher gain. And uh, uh, cause my model uh, based on the classical uh, Maxwell equation is very simple and easily applied to uh, any kind of uh, uh, metallic shell and dielectric core uh, material combinations. Uh, as I, I, I tested uh, just to, to see what, what kind of com combination of the material is the best and, and I see uh, the, the core material uh, should, should be better for uh, having lower uh, refractive index such as uh, uh, oxide or uh, like teflon or even, thank you, uh, if we could uh, have a hollow type, so like, like the, the air core, <coughs> Uh, that would be the best, and the, the shell materials are uh, maybe maybe good uh, by using uh, novel metals such as silver, gold, and 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 uh, platinum is yeah could be a little bit lower, but 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 still fine. And uh, so so the resonant wavelengths as uh, as we saw the previous result are. Uh, the resonant wavelengths can be tuned simply by the ratio of the core and shell uh, thickness or diameter. So, so, for example, if you use laser uh, to activate the reaction, uh, for the wavelengths of the laser, uh, we can change the structure and, and simply uh, tune the resonant wavelengths to have higher enhancement effect uh, by changing the structure, so, so which is very uh, useful and flexible uh, in experiments and, and, and uh, uh, by using such technique we can focus the laser or electromagnetic field energy uh, locally onto or uh, close to the surface of the platinum for conventional uh, CF experiments and then uh, this uh, technique can be applied both for gas and liquid phase systems uh, uh, even without any light injection, because the, the, uh, by using the electrodes for the for the area conventional experimental system, uh, the electromagnetic field uh, is it, simply equivalent to, to to the light because because 
uh, that's uh, all electromagnetic field, of course. And then, uh, so, so, so I hope, and, and, and uh, actually, I'm, I'm currently uh, making an uh, experimental setup to, to, to experimentally verify this effect, uh, how uh, the quasi-shell uh, metallic nanostructure is useful for enhance, enhancement of our CF reaction rate. And uh, this scheme is also uh, applicable for laser fusion technology and uh, by simply uh, embedding uh, metallic nanoparticles or nanoshells into the conventional uh, deuterated uh, polystyrene uh, field target, uh, which is commonly used for laser fusion field. Uh, uh, we are, uh, I, I, in my calculation, I, I got yeah, very high. Uh, enhancement of the energy, so so probably to trigger the the initial stage of the fusion reaction, uh, this technique can be applied. And I also am uh, making some uh, mass transported heat generation model to macroscopically investigate or analyze the uh, experimental result, uh, and and which. Uh, uh, will be eventually connected with the the the, the uh, electromagnetic field model to to story or or exclusively understand the uh, what's going on in the CF experiments. And so 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 I hope I can show you some uh, all only one type of model and uh, as well as some experimental results in uh, the next conference. And this is a summary of my talk. And uh, thank you very much for your attention. Now, question.